hello youtube i'm back with another video today i am going to be filming a day in life of a university student so come with me this is going to be the most raw content you ever see and please wish me luck so basically my day starts out with me taking a bath as i'm wearing a gift i'm going to show you so guys as far as the room tour eh, goes i'm not going to give you a room tour but anyway eh, this is my yoga mat my yoga mat i usually do exercises in sugar pizza but i'm going to give it Atina, we don't have geysers, we don't have... This is how I get hot water. Guys. <sighs> A girl just realized that I cannot use this, this this little mic that I used to use in my in my other videos on the phone that I currently have. I guess because like these type of earphones were phased out. In, in the newer phone so if you are a fellow youtuber and you want this then you can just dm me and we can talk about prices of course i'm not gonna sell it to you the exact same price that i bought it for but then you know you so if i say i have bat salts bat gloves whatever i'd be lying this is basically what i use this is my my soap you see when i put it in the soap there's the soap yeah it's the only stuff i need when i'm going to bath like genuinely right guys so like usually around this time it's like about seven the bathrooms we only have two two tabs for my floor um so i usually have to go and check first if So this is a thing. Uh -huh. It it is a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it's 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 semi clean, so I can go and get my water now. Uh -huh. So I'm not in the business of lying. This is what I use every day in the morning. Lotion. What is this deodorant? Valan. And these are my perfumes. Let's go, Len. And I think at this point I'm going to switch to voiceover because it would be really weird for me to walk around talking to myself. So I have a my diary, and then I have a dress in case it gets cold because it usually gets cold in this lecture room. So now I'm going to look for food at the cafe, and I'm going to film all that for you. And I'll be talking to you through voiceover. Yeah. Okay, guys. So come with me to the cafe. Behind me is my hostel, Swinton, and then this is the back entrance of the cafe. So as I was entering the cafe, I noticed that people kept looking at me because I was filming. So I realized that it was really awkward, and then I just stopped. So I tried my best to get as much footage of me in the cafe as possible. But you know how people can be. Okay guys, so I usually like to use RTGS to buy my food because it's cheaper. And then this is just me sitting and waiting for my food. So I ordered some coffee and a burger. And this is the food. And I was on my way to my friend's hostel. She sleeps in NC1. So this is my outfit for the day. Featuring my coffee stain, but hey. Okay, so this was us on our way to our lecture. It was being held in the media lab. So this is the way to the media lab. And we're like 15 minutes late. But it all worked out because when we got there, the lecturer wasn't even in yet. Smile. How are you guys? This is water and water. Water, water one spirit. and water two. Yes, I know. Who's one? one? You're one. I'm, I'm one. No, I'm one. Yeah, I'm also one. I'm <laughs> How are you guys? 
Say hi to my channel. Hello, YouTube channel. Hello, YouTube channel. Okay, so after the lecture, I had to go to the student's union because I needed to buy a new line, a new Econet line. I've been using Net1, but lately the network has been really bad and I needed to change it. And even if you buy data with Net1, it doesn't work. So I think I'll have to give Econet another chance. So yeah, this is the Econet line and now I'm on my way back to my hostel. I had a light snack before we headed to the diamond lecture hall where we usually get our lunch. This is by far the cheapest place to get food on campus, well, mainly because they only take RTGS and bonds. They don't even take US, and I usually have RTGS on me. So they sell a variety of stuff here. They sell muffins, cupcakes chips and i just got myself some chips and chicken and now we're on our way back to my room because we needed to film a chit chat with me and if we had done it outside it would be noisy so i've decided to do like um chit chat university expectations versus reality my first expectation is of course, like you all know, no go chingo asuma gote. If I come to university, then I'm free. I can do whatever I want and go wherever I want. But in essence, if you're broke, there's no way you're you can't go anywhere if you're broke. No. And then if you involve yourself in other people's plans, you <laughs> find yourself in very messy situations that you can't get out of. So. In as much as you've got freedom, of course you've got freedom, but then the finance part just comes in. It brings me to our second expectation, so it's reality, which is financial stability. You will be broke 24-7 because like most of the money you get has to go to food, buying books, research and stuff and stuff, a lot of things. Saga, like, ah, Unless you've got something that you're doing, if you have something that you're doing, so you're selling something, or yeah, like a little doing, house on the side. You have to, you have to have because something that you're doing because mm, couldn't see my guys. Hi, it's hard. <laughs> I'm trying my best to make sure I go to this content is as raw as possible. And the other, um, what's it called? <laughs> Expectations. The other expectation that you come to university with is about accommodation. I guess accommodation is very hard to get. I remember I, I started not getting accommodation in one two. Imagine. And on a watch enter outside and or you have to come from home. And that's hard because it's not every day that you have a car, pretty kids or whatever. So can bagumbaga just pray for one thing. Sunscreen. <laughs> because you can tell the difference. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm just grateful to be alive. The other expectation is you don't expect to be learning as much. But yo, it's lecture after lecture after lecture after and sometimes assignments. these lectures end late, like my five. And you're just so tired, you know. Also, like the stigma that comes from just being a UZ student, especially if you're a girl, it's very hard. I don't know, Kuti, what's with this stereotype? People say, Kuti, hey, UZ is just so, like, I can't even explain, guys, Kuti. The way we're being labeled out there, it sucks, you know? But what's with We're that, being though? put in the... In the same bracket. Yeah. Kungo tungo nzi. Vaskana eva is it? Vaga daiso. You get what I mean. I don't want to go into the details. It is what it is. Guys, another thing is pressure. Guys, I think I don't want to be around. Be it pressure, pressure in school, school work, whatever. As we all know, pressure, pressure. pressure. 
Pressure ni asu bata bata kuti ndiipi. Kuna umaintain a standard. Kuti wewe unochena oi wewe you hang out with this crew. You guys are always seen chena kuma lunch and stuff. Fresh. Every event you are pulling up Fresh. looking fresh pressure and yeah. i and my my advice to someone and my in part one is uh, someone that's looking to come and learn here try your best not to be known my friend in the name of being an influencer influenza because when i tell you they will track your life they will yeah. track your life they'll literally talk about you so i think it's best to just be low-key at this school make sure make sure it's not it's not bad to go see Ghana, especially if it's for good reasons but then trust me when you plan up they will tarnish your image no matter how good you try to be because to them you can't be perfect so yeah also the fact that we came to school during covid like the beginning of covid the stuff we were told about university before covid that wasn't it because we had a lot of things changed like for example we didn't have interest interest because we <laughs> now, <laughs> this is our first time. <laughs> Jai, we thought it was gonna be so much fun because change name are part one, part two, part three, part four. Oh, yeah, but... okay, take <laughs> okay. Lastly, I'll, I just want to take this time to explain why I'm not filming as much. It's because ah. <laughs> there's been a lot that's been going on in terms of school and personal life in ETC. And also, if you want to do this YouTube thing, you have to maintain your consistency. And it's, the more you put out content, the more you're comfortable with yourself speaking on camera, even like the way you look on camera. Because I won't even lie to you, as I'm filming today, you can ask him. I actually say, I look terrible. Which is because, not true. You see, because I'm not, I'm not used to like seeing myself on camera like nah, i'm not a picture person i like pictures so yeah that is why because when i stopped i lost that touch because when i was filming back then i still had that confidence i had that excitement oh i'm starting my youtube channel and stuff and stuff so like i had that motivation but when i stopped it died and I see that it's the same for my other fellow Zimbabwean YouTubers, especially those that I learned with in high school. They've just stopped. Like when I disappeared, they also disappeared. We all just went to see, you know. And I would like to just thank Kupa. I would tag um, her YouTube in my bio because like she's been she's the reason why i'm doing this video because she's been consistent like she she had a time when she also stopped but then she she recently started again okay guys so we've had our lunch and today i don't have an afternoon lecture so i'd like to believe this is where this vlog ends i don't even know if if i'm supposed to call it a vlog because it's just like part of my day and there wasn't much to show though from here onwards i'm going to try my best to be more consistent love and light love and light please subscribe to my channel guys <laughs> please subscribe to my channel